Today, insha'Allah ta'ala, we will embark on a new series of lectures. A series of lectures concentrating on the life and times of the single greatest human being who has ever lived, ever walked on the face of this earth, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And so where then do we begin when it comes to describing the one whom Allah has chosen above the entire creation, how can we do justice to him when Allah Azza wa Jal himself says, وَرَفَعْنَا لَكَ ذِكْرَكَ Allah says, we have raised up your mentioning and remembrance. Allah has raised up his mentioning and, re- and remembrance. And Ibn Abbas and other scholars of the Sahaba, they said, Allah has raised up his remembrance such that whenever Allah is mentioned, the Prophet ﷺ is mentioned right after that. And how true this is. Whenever Allah is mentioned, the Prophet ﷺ is almost always mentioned right after that. Even in our shahada, La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah. In the adhan, in the salah that we pray, in the Qur'an itself, there's hardly a khutbah that we give, except that we praise Allah, and we send salat and salam upon the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself has called our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, a lil you are the mercy to the entire world. You are the embodiment of Rahmah. Allah has sent you and through you, you will be given Rahmah. And you are a Rahmah. And you are the channel of Allah's Rahmah. So He is Rahmah. Of the Prophet is Rahmah. And His sending is Rahmah. And His message is Rahmah. And His teachings is Rahmah. And believing and acting upon what He has come with is a Rahmah. He is everything associated with mercy. That is Rahmatan lil alameen. And think about it. There is no human being who has ever been praised or is praised at this point in time or who shall continue to be praised more than our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and think about it. No millisecond occurs on this earth except that there are not millions, not tens of millions, hundreds of millions of people around the globe praising this one person sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, either by sending durood and salat and salam, or by giving a khutbah or lecture, or by giving, uh, 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 the, uh, saying the salah, because you cannot pray any salah, you cannot pray any rak'ah, except that what do you do in that rak'ah? Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad. Think about it. There is no second on earth that goes by, except that hundreds of millions of people are praising this one human being. There is no no person who is more praised than our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As for his specialities, what is called in Arabic khasais, something that only he was given and no other human being was given. And there are many books written by the early scholars about khasais nabi and about shama'il nabi which means that his characteristics and what is unique to him. Some of these, again, this is all a summary, there's so much more that can be said. Some of these, number one, He is the final prophet of Allah. No prophet of Allah has obviously ever been the final prophet. And there's only one prophet that can be the final. And Allah chose him to be the final prophet. And this is explicitly mentioned in the Quran. مَا كَانَ مُحَمَّدٌ أَبَا أَحَدٍ مِّن رِجَالِكُمْ وَلَكِ الرَّسُولَ اللَّهِ وَخَاتَمَ النَّبِيِّينَ And in another recitation, وَخَاتِمَ النَّبِيِّينَ And that is the seal and the end of the prophets. Of his specialities that no other prophet has been given is that he has been given the most powerful miracle and that is the miracle of the Quran there is no miracle that compares to the Quran and one thing will demonstrate this for you and that is that look look at any other miracle that you can imagine the splitting of the Red Sea or the resurrection of Lazarus Jesus Christ resurrected by the permission of Allah the dead right all of these miracles We have no access to them. We didn't see the splitting of the Red Sea. You weren't there when Jesus Christ called out to Lazarus and he came out walking from the grave. So how do we... It's not really a miracle for me and you except that we believe in it. But the Qur'an is a miracle that I can hand to a non-Muslim. Say, here, this is the miracle of my Prophet. The Qur'an is a miracle I can recite and the people can hear. It's a living miracle. It's a miracle that all of humanity has access to.